Hello guys, Nixie. Just playing around with this thing. And I put this current transformer on here. And uh, let me see, it's this thing right here. So um, I also have one on the ground line there. But I didn't have that much. I mean, I did get some kind of response from it, but I don't know. It was uh, this one here on the, uh, it's next to this cap, it's on the same line as, as the, the Wema cap there. I wasn't getting any kind of, any kind of additional light from my catcher when I turned the catcher on, when the induction circuit's going. And uh, I haven't, I haven't seen it go into the radio uh, Moscow mode or any kind of uh, making no noise at all so that was kind of unusual for this while I was trying to tune this thing so what I've done is I've tuned the catcher so that this current transformer gives me the best output uh, with a catcher just like uh, T1000 had said on the forum. So that's what I did. And sometimes it kicks into this other little mode here and the MOSFET runs nice and cool and it likes it. So I'm gonna turn it on now. And I have no idea what it's gonna do. So this is gonna be a you know surprise for both of us. Let's see what it does. I have a a single 75 watt bulb over there by itself uh, as a load and and the power supply this power supply 24 volt power supply is connected as a feedback the input is coming from batteries uh, my catcher is still connected to to the mains the, this is these lines here go down to two batteries, but uh, my catcher is still on a laptop adapter. I'll, I'll change that eventually. So anyway, I'm going to turn this thing on. Let's see what happens here uh, with the scope. That bouncing up and down. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's picking up some AC, uh, stray AC or something. I'm not sure on the scope that is. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the induction circuit. And that light lights up pretty good. It's got a bit of a flash here for some reason. Now I'm going to turn on the catcher on top of it. Sounds like it's going to blow up. Okay, so that's kind of what the signal is doing. The uh, Let me just check. See what I mean there? It goes into that mode of, oh, there it goes, holy shit. Well, okay. So, let me try it with my other hand here. No, I can't get it to do it now. There it goes. Hmm. It's picky which hand I put on it. Okay, so, I'm getting somewhere now. This is... Give me a pretty good flash, so it's just a matter of hopefully tuning it better. But I finally got the radio Moscow back. And uh, sorry for blinding you guys, let me put it like this. So I'm going to show you what the scope says if the camera doesn't knock out. So this is what's going on there. The blue traces the uh, current transformer on the on the uh, induction circuit, and the yellow traces the three-turn coil. Okay. Of course, just me getting in there just messes up the the way. It's funny because with my right hand I can't make it work. Let me see if grounding my feet. So it's getting in here where it's kind of close. Ooh, see how it flat, if it could just stay on, I think I'm close. 
at this point Ooh, I'm really close anyway oh it's critical there's there it goes Ooh. anyway I'm just playing with it guys but uh, just thought I'd show you that just goofing around finally getting some some uh, effect from this thing all right well I'm gonna turn it off before I blow it up <laughs> thanks for watching guys